So the first thing we're going to do is before we can start SQL Plus and uh, start our database, we have to find a way to record and save all the changes done in our database. So the first thing that we need to do is for this class create a folder in your flash drive or in your personal computer called CST1204. And in there, we're going to create with Notepad. It's important that you don't use Notepad++. It has to be Notepad. So we're going to open Notepad. And we're going to create a document. Save this. And I'm going to call my week one, because I wanted to save all the changes. I'm going to put it here. And it's a text document. Uh, the name of the document is week one. And there you go. So now I have a week one text document inside my folder. And then he's going to be responsible for saving all uh, the work that I have done in class today. So now we start uh, is the time to start uh, your database. So how we do that? We go to the start. We go down all the way to Oracle. If you have installed your computer all here in the school, you go to Oracle. Just click in there and go all the way down to SQL Plus. I have my already saved in my taskbar, but that's what you'll do in school. So you're going to land with a prompt to that's going to ask for your username and password. I'm using uh, this at home in my computer, so I'm just going to use the default password that system and the password that I use it when I install it. In the school, you're going to use your AMP ID and follow by at ORCL and then the password is tester all right so that's what you're going to use to log in into uh, SQL all plus all right here before I can start any work right I have to make sure that here yeah, I'm going to just move this around a little bit to hold on and so that makes sense to you I want to is pull this. What is this pull? This pull is the command that will allow you to record any key stroke, any work that you have done in this editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is to write the in capital uppercase the word is pull, I space, and then I'm going to go to the document, the text document that I have done it. And this is an easy way. I'm just going to go take my document and drag it. So there it gives me the path to that week one text document that I'm going to have save. I'm going to save my changes to. And then I'll press enter. And you will see nothing. It will say nothing. You're just going to see the editor. It means that whatever that you do is going to be saved. Uh, to this uh, week one tax document. And then you're going to go in class and you're going to work in your database. To end your spool, in order, because it's saving, but it's not really saving until you type spool off. When you type spool off, everything that you have done in the class will be saved to that, that document. So that's how you save the uh, all the work to a tax document.